All right, guys, we're going to go into a couple um, attacks that I like to do this video and the next um, from when the person is turning on their side and starting to escape. Um, I've covered this before and I discussed this in my guillotine code and also some of the guillotine videos I do and the seminar I taught a few weeks ago, right? When you're on your back, let's turn this way just a bit. Can you escape? Yeah. I mean, not without turning. Oh, no, yeah. Right, so you turn into me, you get on your side. Can I guillotine you now? Yeah, yes. your head is, I can't guillotine you very easily when your head is flat on the back, when you're flat on your back. So when you turn on your side, you're open to the guillotine. Your defense, or you, you're gonna have two options. Try to go back to your back, mm -hmm. or come on top. Come on top. In which case, I can finish the guillotine. So I rely, you've trained with me enough, you know I rely on these two things yes. almost too much, right? But sometimes I get to that position and while I'm hand fighting or the guy is really strong or something and I'm not maybe in the right position if he did come up to finish the guillotine, I haven't got my hand in the right, way, the right place necessarily and I am worried about him coming up cleanly. Um, I'm going to have to slow him down even more to either finish the guillotine or to set up something else. Okay, so let's turn this angle. So one thing I do a lot, let me get you your feet there, your head. There we go. Here is he turns on his side. I don't want to stay on my knees and try to guillotine. Because right now if he came up on top, he can run to, run around this way, he can run to that side and I lose the guillotine. Okay, so I want to have my hips facing him so I could put him in the guard. Also, if I turn my hips to face his leg, I can step over. So when he turns in, I always want to switch my hips. Now, let me get your arm out of the way for a moment. Right now, I'm being nice and sitting down. I always want this knee on the ground. In reality, I'm often going to be here. But let's say maybe his hands are here and he's, he's hand fighting here. Okay, now a lot of times if he's stretched out like this, I can just step right over to mount. So a lot of times he may bring his legs in kind of close to make it harder for me to step over to mount. Okay, so that's what we're dealing with. Again, if the legs are down, I'll just step. But he's keeping the legs in closer, and we have two options. I can control this leg or I can control this leg. So what I can do is I can pick this leg up, either from underneath, but I like to go this way because sometimes, keep your knee down, I can't get under. So from here, I'm simply going to pick the leg up. I can shove it and reach through. Now I have a couple options. I can bring the head and lock the cradle. Or I can just bring the leg up and walk my hips in. Okay, if he keeps bumping on his side, yes. I'll move back and I'll lock the cradle. Yes. And then I'll walk in. Okay. So I either keep the chin and the leg, or I lock the cradle. So now, we're gonna set up, it gets worse. What? <laughs> Again, I'm holding the chin. This way, come to your knees. I can turn his chin away. So I can slow him down, go to your back. I can pull his chin down to stop him going to his back. Okay, so he curls in. He's maybe hand fighting. He's keeping his legs close. I come here, look, I run him down. Now, turn back in, move. You see how he's got to put his feet on the mat? That's what I'm waiting for. When he puts his foot on the mat, I'm going to hook. Now I'm going to scrape back and figure four and drive his knee to the ground. Here. So I figure four, I step through, I hook and pull, figure four, put the knee on the ground. Now from here, I'm gonna bring my body over and sit. And I can just bring this leg up and come. Okay, let's go this way. I'm trying to do this slowly or not painfully. Let's go that way. Because we're moving off to the side of the camera too much. So he turns in, I catch the chin, I'm sitting. His leg is close, I pick it up, I run it. I step through, I hook and pull, figure four my legs, put this knee on the ground. 
Okay, let's turn. Now I have a lot of things I can do. But from here, I'm simply going to come here, sit back, reach, catch the toes, and pull. So we won't do that too many more times. Now, from that position, I could go to mount. I can do a lot of things. Um, I could just hold mount in that position. But we're picking up that near side leg, stepping through. I do this a lot when people get paranoid about me messing with the other leg, right? You're trying to mount, and instead of trying to block with this leg, the guy will pick this leg up. Mm -hmm. So now just step your leg through, pull, put your knee on the ground, figure four. Now you're going to turn your body. Don't, don't sit up high. Try to bring your head low towards my foot. Now sit. Pull my foot. There you go. Okay. So it's basically uh, the way I handle guillotines, uh, bottom side or near side cradle into a vaporizer lock. Okay, we're not doing the roll um, because we're too lazy for that, but you absolutely could. <laughs>